long-winded, running through this life like it was mine. Never settling, but setting every goal high. 1,000 burpees on the path to my own destruction or success. But what is a mistake without the lesson? He was employing people, he loved his community, he was encouraging them and empowering them to be more, to, to do more with their lives. So that's why we're here today. He inspired everybody to be different. He inspired to be the businessman and cut the middleman out and be your own boss. And like, <laughs> that's what, that's what hurts the most. What he meant to the community, if you want to look around right now, every single person that's out here, spending their time here, and they're here because he spoke to them in some way, he inspired them in some way, they related to him in some way. So today we're doing, obviously, you know, the Nipsey piece, you know, it's a somber piece. It's a, you know, one of them kind of things. Basically, like, I'm, I'm not one of the people that likes to act like I knew somebody, you know. I didn't know Nipsey. I didn't, I never met him or whatever. But, you know, I did, you know, listen to his music. I liked his shit, you know. Uh, Victory Lab was, you know, amazing. I felt like it should have won the Grammy and all that kind of shit. And uh, it, it, it sucks when you see people like that go that, you know, seem like they're doing everything they're supposed to do. You know, seem like they're on the right path and everything like that, you know. It's just that way it goes sometimes and, you know, what can you do but move forward? So, you know, I hope they start learning, you know, from this shit, from the X shit, you know. It's getting a little bit too prevalent nowadays, so. Got to do something about it, but I don't know. But anyways, let's hop into this piece. Uh, we're going to be working on Harden 3s. They're pretty saucy. I really like this mid, you know upper area here and actually on these ones particularly the toe box is actually leather too so it actually gives me a lot of room to do a lot of stuff here so I'm uh, not sure what I'm gonna put on the shoe but it's gonna be a lot you know but I also want to keep it you know respectful and everything as well so it's, it's simpler but clean but mean so we'll see what happens so I've got my reference images here um, I'm gonna be going more vector style and less realistic on these because of the way this shoe is and because it has these on it um, and because the back panel also has indented you know indentation and you know all that kind of stuff it actually makes it kind of hard to do you know to get those smooth transitions on the airbrush and then do all that stuff over top of all this ridging like that's actually kind of a problem so I'm gonna go with more of like you know, instead of this, I'm gonna go with more like a vector style. So you see how this one's a little different than this one over here. You know, that's like the real picture. Oh, yeah, that's like the real picture. And this one's like the vector style. So we're gonna go with that. As you can see, it's not quite different, but it kind of maps everything out for me. Just so, you know, I have to do less actual airbrushing. I can have those hard edges like that that I can do with a paintbrush. So just makes it a little bit easier, especially since the time crunch on this is pretty crazy. They need them for the game uh, tomorrow, so I gotta get these done, you know, ASAP. So I'm um, gonna go ahead and print these out, do my stencils on uh, on our, uh, what is this, fuck, silhouette, and uh, get into it.
32 extenders in my Mac, nigga. Yeah, you know this shit was coming. Rest up, dog. This shit gonna be high, though. Now I got the portraits done, I'm gonna go ahead and start laying down all the stencils I cut out and start putting all the wording in. I wanna make these kind of simple. I just want them to read really well. You know, just something really clean. So I'm not gonna be doing too, too much with the background or anything like that or changing too much of the colors, you know, just enough to, to really read really good, so. done now so let's go check them out 